Telstra said prices on its mobile plans would go up by between $2 and $4 a month. Hooray, said shareholders. Boo, said customers. But Vodafone and Optus have both put up their prices this year by more than inflation, providing Telstra with both an excuse and cover. Banks posted solid gains today, allowing the index to recover all it lost yesterday. The French market fell a bit last night, but most others went up. And it was all red ink on commodity markets, with iron ore, oil, copper and gold all down. And that kept the Aussie dollar at around 67.5 US cents. 60% of consumers are expecting higher interest rates in Australia, according to today's Consumer Sentiment Survey from Westpac and the Melbourne Institute. Overall, consumer sentiment remains recession and pandemic level glum. Meanwhile, the futures market is putting 50% odds on a rate hike in Australia this year, but globally the rate hikes have finished. This is a chart of the number of rate hikes in the world each month, and in June it was zero for the first time since 2020. The world has officially entered net monetary easing. And in other momentous news, the global semiconductor or computer chip industry has overtaken mining and energy in terms of market value. The chip boom is real. Semiconductor sales have been rising faster than world GDP for a while now as companies everywhere get ready for the artificial intelligence revolution. But as usual, share market punters have got carried away and are now valuing semiconductor companies at 14 times sales versus the usual two to two and a half times, possibly turning a real boom into an unreal bubble. And that's finance.